Hey there, YouTube land. Big Dave here. We're on the fishing channel. Having my coffee. I'm still waiting for my coffee sponsor. I don't want fishing lures or string or anything like that. I want a coffee sponsor. I'm serious. I want somebody, you know, Starbucks or... Um, actually, what is this? This is uh, Green Mountain. Green Mountain. It's good stuff. Um, and some other coffee, nuts.com, see? Maybe they're watching, I don't know. So anyway, one of our uh, viewers, your mama, that's his code name, your mama, um, <clears throat> asked me about the Omega, and, um, it's hard to type an answer about the Omega or something. You have to really show the breakdown and everything. Um, so I'll tell you right now, I'm not a big fan of this reel. This reel, to me, is a pain in the neck. Um, it has three pins in it, which I'll show you in a minute because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open this up. So first thing is the front screws off. Now, it's a heavy front. It's durable. I mean, it's, it's a good thing. In order to get the front over here, you have to push in the casting button to bring the pins in. Then this will come right off. Like this. Okay. Um, it has a casting head. You can hold the handle. And just like on the other ones, you can unscrew the casting head, which I'll do right now. So there's the casting head, it has three pins in it. Right now, um, this has light use on it. I mean, I used it two years ago quite a bit to give it a good trial. I mean, it's heavy construction and the pins are in there nice, it has a brass plate. I'm assuming this is brass because it's never corroded or anything. Maybe it's solid gold. Imagine. I could take it to the jeweler, you know. Okay. So then you have this uh, removable spool on here. I kind of like this because you can change the spool really quick. And what you have to do is tighten the drag to the maximum and turn this, I think, clockwise. And it comes right off. There it goes. It's got like a bayonet kind of mount to it. See that? Now, what you want to do, and some people I know because I get criticized for this all the time, is people get like annoyed with me. You just take a little Vaseline on your pinky and rub it around on here. You can use your favorite stuff if you want to. But um, I know I've been through this before. I can't tell you how long, how many years I've been using just some dabs of Vaseline on the gears. And none of my reels have dried up, frozen up, nothing. The weather doesn't affect it. They don't rust inside. Um, I like Vaseline. Here it is. I, I used it for all kinds of... I have the other stuff. I have the, the blue grease and the everything grease. I have all that stuff. But the one I use all, like, all the time is... This has Vaseline in it. It's been in there for two years. And look at it. I put my finger in there. It's still... Vaseline, it's perfect. Uh, you know, it works for me. So you might not like it. I don't know. Alright, so anyway, so there's your main shaft. And then uh, this has a higher ratio. I don't know exactly the ratio. This has a little bit higher ratio than a normal Zepco. So, and it also has an oscillating, I think it's called oscillating. As you're winding the line on, the spool moves up and down. So it's supposed to put the line more evenly onto this thing. Whether it does or not is another question. You know what happens with these Zepcos is, like, if you don't have the spool move, they kind of uh, round up in one place. And that's why you don't want to overfill them. Um, you know, you're not using these in the ocean. You're using them in some small pond or maybe a lake area or a stream or whatever and you don't need 
like yards and yards and yards of line on there. You just, uh, I, they work for me. I know a lot of places I go. Okay, so disassembly. One of the things about the Zepcos, and I don't work for Zepco, by the way. I have nothing to do with Zepco. Um, it just so happens that I was using a lot of them, and I had to fix some old ones, so I put some videos up. So I've been using them a long time. I have no contact with them. I don't talk to them. If they want to send me something for free, I'll take it. You know, because I use their products all the time. Um, but I'd rather still have the coffee. I want a coffee sponsor. Uh, even the old Zepcos, you can take them apart with a nickel. I don't know if you knew that or not. So most of the stuff that like this, you'll see a nickel fits right in there, right? Perfectly. Now I'm going to just unloosen this. And some of the older reels are like this. Oh, here I'm taking this out. Wee, it's out. Okay. Um, and now underneath, that's the cap. Now you have this thing. Now the problem is the nickel's probably not going to fit. It does fit, so it's in. Okay. So the nickel fits. But I don't want to be bothered with that because it takes too long. So there's a brass screw in there. I'm going. I never had this out yet. This is. I don't think I had it out. So we'll take it out with the old screwdriver. And um, and there's one of these thingamabobs. It's got a, a bushing on the outside. And this, uh, this is so when you put it in, the reel can still turn around on there. Okay. So, I'm putting this off to the side. Now we're going to pull the handle out. And there's a bushing there. There's some kind of a keyway on there. That matches up to something in there. Looks like a lot of brass parts. So, I mean, uh, it's good stuff, right? Oh. Well, Now we have trouble, because there's these little Phillips head screws inside. Uh, okay, I have to run for a second. You're going to look at the garbage bag for like 30 seconds while I go get my uh, other box. Wasn't that exciting? It's a magic red box. All right. So this is kind of like, looks like what we're going to need. Maybe this one. I'm not really sure. So what I'll do is I'll just, I'm um, going to see which one fits the best. It is the bigger one and it fits tight. This is tight. So these have to come out. And yeah, it's going to get tricky now. We're going to have a bunch of parts. So I'm going to get a napkin. I don't have my tray here. I'm going to just tap those out. And then the cover is going to come off. Here's the cover. Here's the back and the wheel for the drag fell off. So it has a keyway on it and it goes into that um, adjustment there. All right, there it is. So we're gonna put these off to the side. And there it is, look it's pretty good stuff, right? I don't know if it's gonna to wanna to focus. I'll try it. Not really. But it's got brass inside. Steel in the middle there. So it's strong. Um, bearings. No, it's pretty well made. 
I like the frame. The frame is nice and heavy, but that's a downfall too in some ways. I don't know what happened here. We kind of lost the. Uh, there we go. That's better. All right. So while I'm, I have it open, um, I'm just looking to see. There's some kind of a flathead screw in there that does something. I'll just kind of check it and see if, if, if it has proper tension and it seems to move this uh, another actuator thing here. And that's, uh, I don't know, and there's a spring in there. I can see the spring, a tension spring. That's for the drag. I can see it. And it's on there nice and secure. So this is better made, you know, than some of the other Zepcos. You can just see that right off the bat. This is a nice solid mechanism. What I don't like about it is these three pins. They tend to be a pain in the neck. Um, and I'll tell you another thing is I've had four sets of line on this reel because it doesn't cooperate as well as some of the other ones, okay? Um, I'll tell you my favorite. I mean, I would just put some grease on here, you know. I might put some blue grease on here, but it looks to be, it's nice, it moves nice and smooth, there's no problem. Oil the bearings, put it back together. This is a good solid piece, you know. I'm not going to put it together on the video. But, um, of the newer Zepcos, you know, this is my favorite. Somebody had these on clearance. They were on eBay or something. I bought a couple extra ones. Zepco 33, authentic, platinum, all metal. I have one of these now about four or five years. And I had it apart like twice. And I did... Because of my own, like, uh, overzealousness on something, I broke a pin off on one of these. So I just ordered a new head from Zepco. It was like $5.60 or something like that and some other parts. And I just changed the head in it um, because I broke the pin off and the thing. So it's not something, like, you can really fix. You just have to get a new head. Um... Anytime you put the screws back in one of these, you know, devices, you just want to be careful that you thread them uh, in the beginning slowly. So, you know, you can put it on. This is going to be recessed. So, you can put on the end of the screwdriver, put your finger on it, and just guide it right into where it goes until it's set, and keep moving in. And then gently use the shaft here to um, find that it's threaded properly. Sometimes, um, you know, I don't know what everyone's experience is with mechanical things. I mean, um, I've been taking things apart and fixing them since I'm like a kid, right? I'm not a kid anymore. You got to have a gentle feel for when you put these things back together. Don't force anything. If it's not going in right, something's wrong, just change it. Like adjust it or something like that, you know. Um, all right, so anyhow, um, um, uh, this is it. There it is. It's a nice piece, right? It's got some good stuff in it. Uh, I mean, now I'm getting into the... I had a, I missed a big bass last night. Uh, it actually snapped my leader off. So I don't know what happened because uh, I wasn't even pressuring it. It just snapped the leader off. It must have been near a rock or something, and it just popped it. It was like a 12-pound uh, liter, and I had 30-pound fluorocarbon, I mean um, braid on there. So I don't know what happened, and I'm sure it was a bass because of the way it took it and just yanked on it, and I pulled up to set the hook, and it just snapped right off. Okay, so I'm going to run out of time. Um, 14 minutes, 25 seconds. Thank you so much for watching and uh, subscribing and sending me comments and all that. It's all, it's all great. Okay, have a good day. Happy Wednesday. Bye-bye.